you were to reset the NBA to 1976 and re-simulate the league all the way until 2021, these are all the players that you would watch be drafted and watch their careers unfold. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Hakeem Olajuwon, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, David Robinson, Charles Barkley, Isaiah Thomas, Dirk Nowitzki, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Derrick Rose, Len Bias, Clyde Drexler, Scottie Pippen, John Stockton, Carl Malone, Dennis Rodman, Patrick Ewing, Paul Pierce, Russell Westbrook, Steve Nash, Jason Kidd, Dwayne Wade, Allen Iverson. Yeah, we've got a lot to see here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's finally time. Guess what time it is? 1976 to 2021, 45 year simulation. It took me three weeks to simulate, or wait, wait, not pause, pause. It took me three weeks to complete this. I've been hinting this for a minute. It took one week to record, 20 hours of recording. Then it took two weeks to edit it. Like this dog right here, Michael Jordan. Yeah, no, he don't exist yet in the NBA. Kobe Bryant, he didn't exist yet in the NBA. 1976, we're gonna watch everything. We do itself all over again, run it back. Although obviously uh, it's gonna be very different from the jump. That's kind of the point. You gotta enter this universe with me, get ready. This is a series, multi-part series. This is chapter one, episode one, whatever the hell one. At the end of the day, dog, I'm so happy to finally be able to just put this out for the people so you could chill out, do whatever the hell you want, enjoy this. And uh, on that note, without further ado, all right, 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 all right. Yo, yo, yo. Today is December, uh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me go to the first date. 7th of 1976. Before I start rambling, yo, shout out to the guys who made this roster over at uh, official 2K77 to make this all possible, of course. Sent me the little link early too, but I, I, I think it's actually late, uh, released to the public now. I am back with the face cam on for this special occasion and in my humble abode for the first time in like six months, which is the PC. This roster gives us complete access to re-simulate the NBA from 1976 to 2000 and well, whenever. But for me, I am telling you right now as someone who has not started this yet, I am going from 1976 to 2020, whether it's in one sitting, two sitting, eight sittings and eight videos, one video, two videos. I don't know. Yo, basically, I don't, I'm not even going to mince words. If you support my existence, um, there you go. You can click the buttons, like the video. You know what I mean? There was 22 teams. The first one on the list being this Julius Irving, Philadelphia 76ers, George McGinnis, Henry Bibby, Doug Collins, who wanted to coach a little bit, I believe. World be free. Oh man, look at him. Beautiful. And Caldwell Jones. I don't know. Let me see if they put it on Caldwell Jones, but all I know is that, yeah, I think this is a, this is a cyber face or something, but uh, it definitely looks like a cyber face. The cyber faces alone, like the gigabytes of it was like five to, or six gigabytes or something for me to download. The, the It took like 12, 15 minutes. Next up, Bob Dandridge, Brian Winters, Swen Nader, Junior Bridgman, and Alex English. This is actually a rookie, Alex English, English, the man who would go on to lead the 80s in scoring. I didn't even know he was ever on the Bucks, but he was. Bulls, 93 overall artist, Gilmore. Might be the second best center in the league after this guy named uh, Lou Alcinder, although he had already changed his name by now, but you'll, you probably know what that is. LeMickey Johnson, uh, Wilbur Holland, Bob Love, you know what I mean? Uh, Austin Carr leading the Cavs. Your team is awful, but you got Campy Russell, so of course, it's all you really need. Austin Celtics, these are the reigning champions of 1976. Dave Cowens, JoJo White, John Havlicek, Charlie Scott. Buffalo Braves, Bob McAdoo will be getting buckets more than likely. Same with Adrian Daniel, who's actually just drafted sixth overall. And Moses Malone, who was, I guess, under drafted but i just looked and saw this is actually his first year too which is nuts the hall of famer moses malone vancouver grizzlies did not exist i put them in the league any i mean like you can't remove teams from the league and on the pc version of this game anyways but in fairness i've always found the pc version simulates better anyway so who really cares john drew atlanta hawks uh lou hudson too he's 32 by this point tom henderson miami didn't exist charlotte didn't exist new orleans jazz who would relocate to utah in 1980 i actually tried to just re lo relocate them now and get it over with but I it didn't work so maybe Maybe those being New Orleans for the entire time. Who knows? Pete Maravich, Gail Goodrich, Nate Williams, and basically their team is just bad. Pete Maravich, the story of him is so nuts because he said that he didn't want to play for 10 years and then die when he was 40, and he did exactly that. He might have even said die when he was 40 from a heart attack, and I, he died when he was 40 from a heart attack. It's just crazy. Ron Boone, who has his uh, right ear removed, I guess, in this picture. Brian Taylor, Scott Wedman, okay. Earl Monroe, Walt Frazier, Spencer Haywood, my Knicks. Honestly thought Clyde would have already been on the Cavs by this point, but hey, if he's still in New York, I'm cool with it myself, even though he's 31. Earl's 32. Kareem Abdul 
Jabbar, also known as Lou Alcindor, as I mentioned earlier, with Kermit Washington. Wasn't this the guy who got like punched or something? No, wait, wait, I don't, am I bugging? Who was the guy that got like Kareem just like punched the hell out of and almost like killed? I'm genuinely not kidding either. Um, Don Chaney, Kazzy Russell. I, oh my God, who mentions Kazzy Russell? Kazzy Russell's in the song by uh, Curtis Blow. You know what I mean? The basketball song. Yeah, he definitely says Kazzy Russell at one point there. Or Orlando Magic, Retro Fillers, Dallas Mavericks, Retro Fillers, New York Nets, not New Jersey, New York. Actually, they they relocated the year after this, but I might just let them rock and have two New York teams. Why the hell not? Nate Archibald, Tiny Archibald, John Williamson, Bubbles Hawkins. I don't Bubbles. That is that is crazy. Bubbles Hawkins. I wonder what his actual name was. Someone tell me what the hell Bubbles name was. Uh, David Thompson, Denver Nuggets, one of the best players in the league, one of the greatest scorers of all time. Dan Issel over here too. Bobby Jones, Indiana, B Billy Knight, Retro Fillers all across the Charlotte Bobcats, who would be the Hornets, the Pelicans. You know they're in that spot. Bob Lanier, 93 ML car. I wonder what that stands for. Yeah, Pistons, Bob Lanier, definitely a nice player to have. Toronto Raptors obviously didn't exist, but um, yeah, because they came into the league like 96 or something. Not 96, maybe like 94. Houston Rockets, Rudy Tomjanovic, Calvin Murphy, Kelvin Connert. I want to see if this guy's a cyber face. Look at him. Oh my, wow, they really body these. Actually, wait, it's literally in the photo. That's literally a cyber face. How, I'm stupid. George Gervin, San Antonio Spurs. He's still leading this team. You know, the man who invented the finger roll, so they said, and who every whole old head compares to Kevin Durant. Uh, then Larry Keenan and uh, Mark Olderbearing. Old, older ding? No, older ding. Paul Westfall, Al Alvin Adams, Ricky Sobers, Gar Hurd. That's the son. Supersonics, Fred Brown. I think he has a Galaxy Opal car that nobody uses. Slick Watts. I like that name. Slick Watts. Oh, Slick Watts. Dennis Johnson of the Seattle Supersonics. And then uh, only a few left. Timberwolves didn't exist. Portland, Bill Walton. Actually, he's the second best center in the league. Yes, yes, yes. He was the uh, MVP. I, uh, hell, I think they won. They won the ring in 77. So let's see if they could still do that. Maurice Lucas, you're missing an ear yourself, but it's all good. Wow, he's a 90. I didn't even, I'm not even hip to Maurice Lucas. Sorry, Marley. Maurice, I wasn't around in 77. Lionel Hollins, oh wow. He was the coach of, I think, the Clippers for a while or something. No, the Nets, he was the coach of too. I remember one time, I think it was him that got coach of the month for the Nets and then got fired. Johnny Davis, okay. Golden State, Rick Barry, oh man. Jamal Wilkes, Phil Smith, Robert Parrish. And how about the Washington Bullets? Elvin Hayes, Phil Chenier, Sh Shiner, Chenier, I don't know. Truck Robinson, I'm always in root for a man named Truck. Wes Unsell, wow, how young was he? Oh, he was old, never mind. Wow, you fell off like that, that quickly? That's crazy. Especially like he let himself go. Sorry, Wes. RIP Wes too. Mitch Kupchak, look at Mitch. They got Mitch Cyberface out here looking like an iron golem from Minecraft. Um, All right, yep, that's it. Draft class, we got Bernard King, we got Jack Sigma. I think the guy who made this only has the 77 and 78 draft classes, but either way, we'll figure it out. I'll find 79, 80, 81. Let's do it. Season number one. Oh my God, the simulation speed is so ill. I forgot the computer is so nice like this. I forgot. That NBA logo right there, I think that's just the Mavericks. I think the Mavericks are the only team for some reason didn't load the logo. I don't know how that works. All-Star Captains, I'm just going to go on it and you can look at it yourself. Oh wow, the font was so much smaller on PC. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Obviously everybody's, actually not everybody's one-time All-Star. This man, uh, Dave Cowan's nine-time All-Star and Bill Walton, three-time All-Star. But yeah, everybody else, nobody too surprising. Can we see, uh, oh yeah, by the way, the menu. I missed this menu, but uh, oh, my, look at how easy this is. The League News Award races. Like instead of, hold on, I'm getting to clown. This video is going to be long regardless. I'm getting to clown in this other 2K menu, dog. I had my console open anyway, so it's cool. Look at this. I got to go League News, League His. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know. I don't even know. Actually, I give up. No, I don't even know. 25, 20, and 7 a game from Bill Walton. That is an elite stat line. I feel like nobody else was out here being a center averaging 7 assists. You know, Kareem. 30 and 23 is nice, but 2 assists, not. Nah. OJ Lane, rookie of the year. I wonder if this is a if this is an actual person it doesn't matter it's cool regardless gail goodrich six man of the year artist gilmore dpoi artist gilmore most improved tate lock coach of the year tate lock i have no clue who you coach bill walton oj lane okay Pete thompson Ooh, look at the background looking real cool behind this and the dude who did this adjusted the contracts to be uh correct for the modern day too which is crazy julius irving five years 162 mil like that's perfect you know what i'm saying what's up what's kareem getting kareem five years 190 just about defensive team defensive second team of course clyde has got to be on there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I can't do no crazy, crazy deep dives. You know what I'm saying? So like league standings, magic, awful, Raptors, awful, Hornets, awful, Heat, awful. Wow, the Heat or, or that bad and got 19 wins. That's, oh, they signed OJ. Okay, got it, got it, got it. That's where that guy came from. Avs, 36 wins, Bullets, Pacers, Knicks made it, Nets. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Bulls actually. Oh yeah, right, right. Young, uh, young artist Gilmore, right. Rookie Moses Malone, right? I mentioned that. He's out here uh, starting and averaging, shoot. I think I just saw something like four, 14 and 15 alongside Bob McAdoo with the, 
these numbers. They were the number one seed far and away. Obviously, four trash teams over here. Maverick, who's going to be rocking the NBA basic logo, generic logo. That's cool. I could always change it. There's some, I already jumped into some games. I know I didn't do it, but yeah, th th like in this take, but there's the courts on here are nuts. Braves, Nuggets, Blazers, Warriors, Spurs, Lakers, Jazz, Kings. All right. League leaders in points was Thompson, Maravich, Archibald, Bob McAdoo, and Kareem. Rebounds was OJ Lane, Curtis Ramsey, Kareem, Dave Cowens, and Blackwell. Heat, JoJo White, Nate Archibald, Norm Van Leer, and Phil Chenier, or whatever the hell that, yep, okay. Bob McAdoo makes a lot of shots out of the shots he takes, and three-point percentage was Pete Maravich. Wow, wait. This was before the three-point line was even a thing. Obviously, you can't remove the three-point line in 2K, but I just realized that, and that is crazy. This is before even the three-point era. So, obviously, in this era, Pete Maravich was nuts already, but he was a great three-point shooter without the line. Like, he would be shooting from deep without the line. So, now he's actually going to get three points for those. At least, you know, my sources have told me, aka, like, the world has told me that Pete Maravich liked to shoot from deep. All right. 70. Oh, boy. I got to be I gotta be careful with the simulation. I forgot how quick the simulation. Okay. I didn't even see who got eliminated first, but the Trailblazers are out of here. Spurs are out of here. Deuces. New Orleans. Adios to the Jazz. No success there until Carl Malone. Actually, he didn't even win a ring either. Kansas City Kings. So, where is actually the Oscar Robertson retire? Probably. New York Nets. Deuces. Detroit Pistons deuces, New York Knicks deuces. Okay. Um, no upsets except for the Lakers who win 4-0. Actually, Kareem Abdul Jabbar said, Yep, uh, Bill Bill Walton. Wow. Kareem son, this man, the, the man who's the reigning champion from 1977. Or actually, oh, I get no, no no, he was the one that was supposed to win the right, right, right. Celtics were the reigning champions, of course. And they are still alive. Okay, so but yeah, no, Kareem just sunned the MVP. Okay, next round. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. Okay, two, one, two, one. Oh, I forgot there's no individual simulate game button on these. I forgot about that, but Buffalo wins yet again handed lee four row hasn't lost the game yet bob mcadoo going crazy 44 points from him okay lakers lakers lost bucks lost hawks lost it is the one verse two seed in both conferences how do i control this right 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 go over here cool cool look at the look at the little look at the things celtics versus bulls which is uh artist gilmore versus the reigning champions dave cowens and them and then you got david thompson and isso versus uh bob mcadoo now obviously you know what i mean it's it's kind of murky out here for now unless we get you know what i mean kareem winning some rings like rings like that's that's a cool thing you know what i mean like we don't do we really care about artists going i don't know but soon be soon come michael jordan's gonna be in the league and we gonna watch his whole career play out like this is nuts okay so buffalo just won four two there is a game seven over here i am trying to watch that to be honest with you a little simcast action going up oh, click the wrong button simulation speed is not bad on ps5 until like you really get deep into it and your, your console starts crying but um yeah no the, on here it is nuts and the celtics are gonna win 88 79 i saw i also downloaded sliders that these guys made for their own rosters and I, it adjusted the pace to be slower too for this era well, that's cool i mean i could always adjust it again probably if I ever wanted to see it's on 40 and if i ever wanted like we got into the 2000s whatever i could always put it up fouls are down too oh yeah there was a rough out here all right the buffalo braves so wait so the clippers ayo forget all the years of clippers sadness you guys can get one right now right here right now instead of always all the years of despair but you're up against the celtics who are indeed the reigning champions let's see game one the buffalo braves going crazy crazy so instead of trading Moses Malone they held on to him and well it seems to be going well even though he's not the main guy here it's Bob McAdoo going crazy game two they win yet again Bob McAdoo 41 and 10 okay they lose this one 30 and 17 from McAdoo that's cool forgot they got Dantley too oh yeah Dan wait 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 they have Dantley and Malone that is crazy that is so crazy two rookies too helping them lean to the finals because obviously their tendency has got to be great because they ended up being hall of famers well I, I think Dantley's probably hall of famer right actually I don't know I don't know I just know he was a great I think he got traded to the Pistons at some point yeah yeah okay great unless that's somebody else i'm thinking about but either way uh bob mcadoo 37 and 20 dantley 38 who's this bird Averett, 74 overall okay giving them buckets and this could be it right here clippers one thing one crazy thing to change the clippers would have a championship they already made it past the uh, conference finals this is just the clippers prior to relocation this is no different look at this matter of fact get me off of here for a minute look at this look at this look i don't even think i downloaded all everything that they put into this but dog look Look at the scoreboard they got the og scoreboard i don't care for in 2046 this scoreboard is never coming up off it looks fire for this video and uh yeah that is it the buffalo braves are actually going to win the championship they have clippers jerseys on yeah they do okay so they basically it, it okay it doesn't matter i probably screwed that up it's all good though it's cool it's cool jerseys are kind of clean too i like them i like them. ayo clippers friends wherever you are Kawhi leonard uh-huh uh -huh, all that yep okay yep you somewhere better be happy because a lot less pressure on you to make it to the conference finals bill russell over here acting like he didn't just retire two years ago already handing out the trophy probably no nah, i don't know how long ago he retired look at this beautiful and why they got, they got a little cbs logo on the top left okay bob mcadoo 38 
34 and 16 daintly 16 okay who, who over here was trying to give him buckets cowens what'd you do what'd you do you got an mvp in your past you know what i'm saying uh he averaged 20 and 16 20 and 23 in the season i didn't even check badges and the badges are different on here too don't they still got deep hooks too where's deep hooks at i don't even know not deep was it deep hooks or was there another badge i used to just make fun of all the time i don't even remember Clippers fans big difference big big difference okay vc earnings thank you so much i'm never gonna use it mcadoo average 32 13 and 2 and even in the playoffs 31 and 13 a game yep mcadoo went crazy oh man all the retro fillers retired really wait i wonder what's gonna happen with these now doug mo retired oh man not doug mo draft lottery okay let's see how the hell this goes 14 percent from the top three mavericks are up there i want to see the mavericks get it with no with no uh, thing on their picture okay cool hornets raptors grizzlies magic wolves so i would assume the hornets are about to get bernard king i haven't been on this this pc in so long okay let's see oh oh boy the cavaliers training an uncovered eye injury concern oh this bird song joe has it My, wait okay okay i i get it i get jesus christ i don't even have injuries on oh it's still going hello hello make your way yo i have everything automated why are you showing me this so wait who's in this draft again aside from bernard king jack sigma oh, oh this bird song cedric maxwell brad davis marquise johnson i seen a video of you dunking the other day even though you're 65 it was for your 65th birthday or something the other day like a month and a half ago or something uh okay cool let's just simulate through this real quick see where the hell everybody goes bernard king 83 overall goes to the hornets he's gonna instantly be one of the best scorers in the league by far uh actually anybody else i should be worried about here hold on hold on jack sigma to goes to the raptors cedric maxwell to the grizzlies uh cool stuff no complaints all right so now things should be good and everything everything should be like in line for a free agency to just exist as a thing oh boy already potentially some big moves in line here like uh i mean i don't know if anybody gets big i just had big tiny nate archibald something's wrong with me is this zion's father no no i doubt it hey seven days pass maurice lucas goes to the 76 i gotta look at what team he was on so i know that he actually left portland he's out of there tiny archibald he stood with the nets right he was where he was there in the first place yeah because wow is it, are they both gonna be ny abbreviation that's very annoying to be honest right 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 yeah that's annoying can i changed that real quick all right i gotta wait until the season that's cool i respect it who else wall frazier to the pacers billy knight to the pacers dandridge to the suns oh boy a lot of movement off rip all right let's see who the hell is the best player in the league now anybody take some big jumps whatever aside from that though i'm just going to continue simulating of course thompson 97 walton 97 kareem 96 oh he is 30 to be fair dr j 95 he's only 27 still after his aba stint Pete marriage 95 he's 30 and then a uh, champion bob mcadoo up here okay 1997 98 not 97 definitely what did i just say i just said 97 this year we'll have oh boy larry bird who's gonna have an overseas thing on him because larry ended up staying one more year in college after he got drafted which is wild i missed the pc i can't lie hopefully there's some more cool mods out here too on these streets because yeah although i was thinking about the other day and like there's only um right now it's april uh april may june july august september five more months and then 2k22 will be on the pc so what my yo the modders on here are going to go stupid when they release next gen 2k onto the pc finally and uh lionel holland's one time all-star aside from that i think everything's pretty similar dave cowan's off the bench now adrian how are you a seven-time all-star adrian i don't know even you were in like your rookie year bill walton mvp bernard king rookie of the year averaging 28 and 12 with six assists three steals and three blocks oh my god you almost were mvp probably ricky green is this not just that that's robert peck no i think that's robert peck right i don't know who ricky green is but hey do you artist dave myers tate lock again so the the braves are not letting up spencer haywood of the knicks all nba first team with maverick bernard king already david thompson and bill walton reams on the second team with norm nixon Herman Monroe, Jamal Wilkes, Artis Gilmore, Lucas, and White on the third team. Okay, let me just make this one NYJ. I forgot to do that earlier. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks. League leaders in points was Thompson, Kareem, King, Archibald, and Dantley. Rebounds was Walton, Abdul Jabbar, Gilmore, Haywood, and Drew. Assists was Maravich, White, Nixon, Green, and Monroe. Steals was King as well. Blocks was Gilmore. McAdoo hits a lot of his shots that he takes, and Phil Arthur definitely likes threes. The 76ers were 76 and 6. Tied with the Braves for the best team in the league. So Daryl Dawkins, McGinnis, Dr. J. Yeah, right. So it's, it, I know he got a ring. It might've been an 84, honestly. I thought he had two rings, but maybe whatever. I think I know they wanted an 84 though, but whatever. I remember they used to have two 2K classic teams and all the old 2Ks and it was the 76, 77 team, I believe, as well as the 84 team. So who knows? Denver's up here. David Thompson led his team to the prompt, well, kind of promised land almost. So those two teams alone, or these three teams all beat the 72 and 10 Jordan record. That isn't necessarily set yet though, which is kind of crazy. And Walton, 17, 12 your team uh kareem's team kind of lacking behind here they have nobody else really that's 80 plus in their lineup 
Uh, I, they need magic. All right, simulate this round. Milwaukee is gone. Cleveland is gone. Golden State is gone. Houston is gone. Adios to the Pacers. Who the hell's on the Pacers? Rick Smiths? I don't know. Definitely not. Phoenix Deuces. Boston Toodles. San Antonio. Goodbye. Okay. Literally no upsets at all. That's cool, though. That's cool with me. Let's just continue, dog. Let's just keep pushing. Chicago's at it. Oh, let me slow it down because it, it looks like they're all about to be 4 1 as well, though. Philadelphia is not slowing down. They got Chicago the hell up out of here. Sorry, uh, Artis Gilmore. All right, all right. He's pretty good. Play around again. Okay, cool. There goes another series, and every series ended 4 1 or 4 0. Even uh, who with Portland out here lost to the Lakers lost to Buffalo. So Buffalo's looking to repeat. Sorry, uh, who the hell is E. Tatum? Is this Jason's dad, Earl? It's not actually his father. I don't know who his father is. Um, okay, Philadelphia, Atlanta. Let's see. Nuggets and Braves. Oh boy, David Tom is trying to knock off the champs. And the Sixers and Hawks. You got J John Drew versus it's just John Drew versus Dr. J and Maurice Lou. Okay, so and they actually won a game too thus far. Okay, Buffalo 4 0 the hell out of Denver and the Philadelphia 76ers. Dr. J is looking to finally get his fight. Well, his championship world be free. Doug Collins, Dr. J, Maurice Lucas, and George McGinnis against Dantley, McAdoo, and Moses Malone. Let's see how this shall play out. Game one, the Sixers actually already take the first game. Uh, McAdoo 28, Dantley 25, but Doug Collins 26. Dr. J actually had kind of a quiet game, almost a triple double though. Game number two, Sixers going kind of crazy. Hold on. Will they hold on though to it? Uh, yep, they do. Five point win. Dantley 37, but Dr. J 35. Just enough. 2 0 lead for Philadelphia. This would be their first? Yeah, it would be. It definitely would be their first. Was 1976 the year that they entered the league too? Because that would make it like a real double entendre for the name of their franchise, right? I already know what the real meaning is. It's something about like the Declaration of the or the Constitution or some some stupid like that, which means that I kind of know what it is. I kind of know what the meaning of the team name is. But if it, if they also got inducted into the league in 76 too, that would make it even more significant. I'm just talking. I don't know. I, I, they were probably already in here for 10 years or something. Um, all I know though is that the league took a four year, four team jump from 75 to 76, so they could have been one of them. But hold on. Get all this talking, yo. The 76ers are about to win the championship. Sorry to the Clippers slash Braves. It's been a real nice, valiant run. You had one ring, but maybe that, that's enough. You know, you won't. I mean, then again, though, the Knicks won two rings in the 70s, and they still get clowned to this day for it. So the Clippers might still get clowned. Look at the the, the muscle definition on this man. Who is this? Who am I dribbling the ball with right now? Why can't I see who I'm? Oh, wait. Uh, Danley. Give it to Danley. Okay. This man doesn't even have a name. What the hell? It doesn't like. Sh oh, Allen. There you go. Allen. Come on. Let me get a bucket with you real quick. 132, 122. Green light. Oh, my God. Allen at the buzzer. The new NBA champions. The 76ers. Dr. J is the finals MVP this year. Danley was trying to will his team to victory. I think McAdoo was kind of lacking in these in these uh, four. Right? This is a 4-0 sweep. No, he's actually he's, he's pretty good still at basketball. But I mean, 10 points in one game, though. Come on now. That could have been an easy win. Come on now. 32 from Dr. J. 24 from World Be Free. I guess, uh, what's his name? Uh, Daryl Dawkins putting the clamps on him or something. Philadelphia wins the ring for 1978. Dr. J, I didn't even look at your stats, but it's all good. Let's continue. Nate Thurman retired. The legend. Bob Weiss is out of here with the, any other real players. It doesn't matter. Larry Bird. Who's going to be picking up Larry this year? This is going to be nuts. Maurice Cheeks and Michael Ray. He got drafted this late. I know that Michael Ray got kicked out of the league because he was doing all the different types of drugs. But I mean, hey, Michael Thompson too. Clay's Pops. Okay. Draft lottery again. Any like real teams? That, oh, yeah. Warriors, Minnesota, right? I think the Warriors were maybe not actually. Maybe not. I'm bugging. Wait, actually, yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. The Bobcats, Raptors. I would love to see a team called the Bobcats dominating in 19 in the whole 1980s decade. Matter of fact, that would be incredible. Imagine the Bobcats rule this whole simulation. I would love it. Oh my God, stop giving me all these things. I don't even have injuries on my injury concerns. Okay, then why are we even drafting then if everybody's concerned? We're concerned about everybody. If you don't just get forego your pick or something, Larry Bird will go to the Bobcats. 86 overall, Larry. Celtics are nowhere in sight. They got one pick from Memphis. Aside from that, they were too good. You know what I'm saying? 23rd? Uh, yeah, no. Um, okay, uh, Dave Cowens, Dan Issel, World Be Free. Harold Dawkins, you know what I mean? Center of the championship team. So let's see where the hell these guys go. Cowens stays with the Celtics. World Be Free. I believe you were on the Sixers too, right? I mean, I know you were on them, but I know if you were on them like this year. Yeah, they were. He was. Rick Barry leaves Golden State for the Nuggets, but he's kind of declining anyways. But he's still one of the better players in the league, I would assume. Mickey Johnson. Sorry, LaMickey, you're going to the Utah. I'm Chicago. And uh, Daryl Dawkins leaves the Sixers. At least they kept World B, though. Uh, oh, wait. Dan Issel still doesn't sign. Where the hell are you going to go? Let's see. The Warriors. So he replaces uh, other dude, Rick Barry. Look at Adrian Dantley's crazy jump. And Malone. Oh, boy. Still watch out for the Braves. I know they sold. But matter of fact, where was Moses in that series? The man wasn't doing nothing. Thompson, Walton. They're the two best players, followed by Irving, Maravich, Kareem. Okay. Season number three. One of the best rosters I've ever used thus far. I mean, like, it's been two years, but I'm saying, like, I'm excited to see this roster is so good that this should all be pretty seamless. Oh, yeah. Here, I just loaded in a 1979 draft. I think this guy's got it down pat. I see Magic Johnson in here. I don't know what overall he is, but no matter what, Magic Johnson is Magic Johnson. He's going to become a 99 anyway.
anyways. So, I mean, hey, you might as well make them a 99 out the gate. Okay. Season number three. This is a 78, 79. Yeah, yeah okay, great, great. If things go according to real life, Magic Johnson would come into the league and just automatically body everybody. How did the Lakers get the first pick and get Magic, right? Magic was the first pick, I would assume. Nard King, one-time All-Star, and he's a starter. He was on the All-NBA first team last year, but no All-Star. Okay. Norm Nixon, one-time All-Star, too. Bill Walton. Is this his third MVP straight? Look at young Bill. So on the Blazers, and yeah, he's got all three. Michael Thompson, rookie of the year. Wow, that's actually pretty interesting. Oh, wait, right. Larry isn't even in the league. Ricky Green, yet again. I'm pretty sure that's Robert Pack. I've never seen a player with that clean of the, I mean, like the low flat top as Robert Pack. Maybe I'm bugging, or maybe like the Will Smith and Fresh Prince, right? Didn't Will Smith have that in Fresh Prince? Okay. Artis Gilmore, DPOY, Terry Furlow, Brad Stevens, coach of the year. Oh, sure, why not? Thompson, Archibald, King, Dangers, and Walton are the All NBA first team. I should just low key just highlight the first team because that's the one really everybody cares about anyway. I mean, unless like somebody else is interesting, makes it onto one of the other ones. But like, do we really care about Charlie Scott? I don't know. Maybe you do. Let's uh, check the stats real quick. Thompson, can't wait. Tom wait, whoa. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Hey, no, Thompson was on the Nuggets the whole time. I'm bugging. Their logo being different threw me off. Okay. Thompson, King, Archibald, Kareem, and Maravich led in points. Rebounds was Walton, Gilmore, Abdul Jabbar, Sigma, and Drew. Assists was Maravich, Archibald, Nixon, Davis, and Green. They'll go McAdoo. Three point gains. Buffalo went 70. Okay, so the league's starting to gain a lot more competition. Plus, these two teams both had 65 wins themselves. Bill Walton leading his team to 65, and David Thompson doing the same. But Buffalo, though, is crazy. Uh, McAdoo, Moses Malone, and Adrian Dantley. Still holding it down as the first seed, 70 12. But on the other side, Philadelphia, 66 and 16. Not too far of a drop off. They're just starting George McGinnis at center. Wait, they got more Reese Lucas? Well, they added him after the first year. I'm bugging. I, I Wow, I'm really bugging. But I mean, it's not like he averages anything too substantial, but like he's a very good player, you know? And he even shoots 41% from three now. McGinnis at the center. They got Jelly Bean, Joe Bryant getting him rings as well. Lou, Lou Hudson, Steve Hawes, John Drew. 61 wins for John Drew. I have never heard the name John Drew in my life, but there goes John Drew, John Drew. And just a real quick skim of any good team that should have made it but didn't make it. Rockets still waiting to get a Keem, honestly, probably. Imagine, oh uh, wait, who drafted, uh, the Bobcats drafted Larry. Imagine they draft Larry and Magic because they don't have Larry yet. That would be insane. This man, Larry, overseas his advanced to a 94 overall. I don't know what he was out of the draft. I didn't even check, but yeah, actually, I think he was like an 86, right? Overseas, he just bugged out even more. He probably would've done that in the NBA anyway. Simulate dogs. Uh, okay. Oh, look at the, whoa, Buffalo just got 4-0 swept by the Suns. What the the hell paul westfall bob dangers oh yeah nah clippers clippers fans down terrible right now you got your one ring but it's been kind of rough since i mean you made it back to the final the braves lose after winning 70 plus games i forget exactly what it was but yeah bob dangers and paul westfall get him the hell up and out of here that's one of the first l's too new york nets out of here charlotte hornets out of here chicago sorry gilmore sorry to dave cowens deuces to david thompson adios to dan issel i can't believe i'm remembering these my memory's not awful i can't even lie. i gotta give myself some props i'm um, okay George Gervin, 30. As a, he leads his team past David Thompson. Wow, okay, look at young George, 91 overall. What, actually, how old is he? 27, yeah, he's young. And fourth seeded late. So Kareem, ayo, hey, Kareem, you got you a road right here to the ring. Come on, big dog. Phoenix is out of here. San Antonio's out of here. Atlanta's out of here. Philadelphia's out of here. Wow, so the one and two seed, both lost. Lou Hudson, yeah, couldn't hold it down, and neither could George McGinnis. Wow, so the 76ers, yep, nope, no repeat. He lost by three points in game six. Now over here, we about to have the Washington Bullets versus the Detroit Pistons led by Bob Lanier is the best player in this series. Other side, you got Bill Walton versus Kareem. Oh man, definitely kind of crazy. Let's do it. Okay, Bill Walton wins the first 2-1 for Walton, 3-1 for Walton, and 4-1. Walton got Kareem the hell up and out of there. And the Bullets just blew a 3-2 lead. Could have been 3-1, but I didn't even catch it. But 3-2 at the very least to the Pistons. Bob Lanier. You know the Pistons won two rings from like 85 to 92 or something like that. But actually, I think they won in 89 and 91. I think that's exact. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, I'm bugging. They won an 88 and 90. I think that's what it was. Either way, they, it's the, hey, they get one a lot earlier instead. Lanier, ML Carr, and Slick Watts against Walton and Lionel Hollins. Wow, Lionel Hollins really one of the goats out here. One of the best players. Okay. Pistons, your logo is disgusting. Who graphic design Microsoft paint that logo? Oh my God. Uh, yep, they lost by six points. The uh, the Trailblazers, that is. Bob Lanier, 22 and 16 on um right, right, right on Bill Walton. You know, the three-time MVP though, right here, right now, could win finally his, well, maybe, no, not 
not first ring, right? Oh, no, it would be his first ring in this universe. Okay, okay. Yeah, Bill's got to get this one. We are in 1979. He should have got it two years ago. And he's going to win back-to-back -back games, 31, 11, and 8 for him. 11 and 8 is crazy. Bill was out here crazy, crazy versatile. Now he's out here commentating college games in his olden days. Isn't Bill, like, mad crazy? I don't know. I don't watch college like that, but I know people are talking about. Uh, 30, 22 from Bill. 22 and 21 and 7 from Bill, but 30 from Lionel Holland. 26 from Lanier. Lanier. They take a 3-1 lead, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow. He's not even going to show me who's winning the series. I was pretty, pretty sure. Oh, hold on. Let me hop off the team, too. They're going to foul. Oh, snap. It's 82, 83. What am I doing? 23 seconds left. Hold on. Let me just watch this game. Yeah, so they are up 3-1 right now. Uh, Bill Walton's team, the Trailblazers. They have a chance right here, right now, to win the championship. Finally, let's see. In the bonus, uh, free throw by whoever the hell that is. I don't know. Second one is also good. Lionel Hollins, 22, 10 for 13 shooting. Watts, he goes between the legs, going right, steps back to the basket again. Watts to the bat. Okay, that was kind of, he was kind of dirty with it. Is this Slick Watts? Oh, man, young Slick. Come on. Why is your headband so tilted? Do you see how it tilted this? Hold on. No, no, no. This man Slick got his headband on dumb tilted. Look at this. Slick is just different with it. Slick is too cool. Second free throw was off. Rebound. Oh, yeah. No, it's going to be over probably, right? Like the fro out here. Look at the fro on him. Ah. Let's say Portland leads series 3-0 right on the screen, right? If you don't get that off the screen, I don't know how to control that. <laughs> I'm not a modder. Okay. Three-point shot is off. That's back out. Car. Look, there isn't even a three-point line. What? They don't even get the line out here. That is crazy. I, we can't even see the line. Either way, the Trailblazers won the championship. This is funny as hell. Get the three-point line. Y'all better figure it out. I mean, I'm not controlling the game anyways. Lionel Hollins, 22 and 5. Randy Smith, 14. Ford, 16. Okay. Bill Walton, congrats on your first ring, big dog. You definitely deserve a three-time MVP. John Havlicek. I didn't even know you were still in the league. Okay, you were just chilling. Freddie Lewis. Havlicek had the most missed shots in NBA history, and then Kobe took his record. Isn't really a record you would want to have, but he's just, you know what I mean? You gotta take shots to make shots. Uh, shout Dave Shelter. The Magic Johnson Lottery. Let's see. Who's number one? Warriors, Bobcats, Mavericks, Heat, Raptors. The Mavericks win it with their NBA logo. I'm definitely giving them a logo if they get Magic Johnson. Forget Dirk. Forget uh, who else do they have? They had some other small forward for like half of the 80s. Mark Aguirre, I think, was on their team. I think that's the guy I'm getting mixed up with the Pistons. I'm an idiot. NBA draft, simulate through it, and the Magic pickup, Magic Johnson, or the, the Mavericks, my God. Sydney Moncrief, only one overall lower than Magic goes to the Pacers. Ceiling is Sydney Moncrief, Hall of Fame. Magic Johnson ceiling is Magic Johnson, Hall of Fame, and his floor is out of the league. What the hell? I mean, you would assume everybody's floor is out of the league, right? And actually, they really do say everybody's out of the league is floor. I mean, then again, yeah, that's kind of, if you like just were trash, then yeah, you'd be out of the league. All right, Mavericks, let me hook you up with some sort of logo or something in a second because they won't let me do it yet. Okay, 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 okay. Bring this to here. Bill Walton's a free agent. Let's see. Is he going to leave his team after winning the ring? Oh my God, he does. Bill Walton goes to the Rockets. Who did he join? I feel like somebody's on the Rockets. Yeah, I'm tripping. I think the Rockets may be a little bit trash. Remember, I just made that joke about them waiting for, out for Akeem. Uh, aside from that, a bunch of other stuff happened. Spencer Haywood to the Pistons. Alvin Adams is going to go replace him on the Trailblazers. Okay, good luck with that. This is going to be 1979-1980. The year of, ooh, Kevin McHale. Oh boy. Not that he's not a good player, but like, who the hell really cares about Kevin McHale, you know? I don't even have a historic Mavericks logo in the game. Have they just never changed their logo? Third dog, this one works. It looks kind of old school anyways. I'm pretty sure this is their current one, but whatever. Here we go. Just just download this one. Thank you, Toodles. I just say two. Okay, simulate the season. Let's do it, Magic Johnson. As a matter of fact, Larry Bird is here now too. Hold on. Magic's an 81. No Kareem and Magic duo, and Larry should be somewhere around here. Yep, Charlotte's Larry Bird. Crazy. I got nothing else to say. Team Nate and Team Bill. That's nice. Surprised Larry's not an all-star starter already, but Magic and Larry are both off the bench. We already know those are the two, you know, new primetime names. I've seen Dr. J also off the bench. Bernard King is the most viable player. 37, 12, and 6 a game with three steals and two blocks. Larry Bird, rookie of the year. Yeah, sorry, Magic. That's kind of unfair with it. Although, what did Magic average? 24, 5, and 7. Yeah, he's definitely pretty... Actually, he could have won it too. Joe Bryant, Jelly Bean, win six man of the year. Artis Gilmore, DPOY. Igor Nevsky, most improved. Brad Stevens, coach of the year with 76 and 6. Thompson, Archibald, King, Bird, and Abdul Jabbar are the first team. Pretty elite first team. Magic's already on the second one with John Drew. Hey, right. And that's Bill Walton's first non MVP. So uh, over on his new team in Houston. I don't know who the hell is on Houston. Let's uh let's see. How is Houston? Who the hell is on Houston? Okay. They're second best in the conference now with him. Calvin Murphy. Oh, yeah, Rudy Tom John. This was another guy who got punched, right? Yeah, just laid out one of these one of these eighties or one of these seventies games. I don't know. And Jamal Wilkes is here too. They do got a pretty solid team. Buffalo still reigning supreme over here, doing incredible things with Moses Malone, 90 overall. Chicago, wow, no 60 win teams over here, but you know, Chicago's cool. Uh so wait, the two teams are gonna keep on eye on now are the Bobcats and Bobcats and the Mavericks. Bobcats did not make the wait, where
where are they? Are they in the West? Oh, wow. They're in the West and they didn't make it. And the Mavericks 21 and 61. Magic Johnson could not carry this team anywhere much. For, wow, these short shirts are absolutely disgusting. All the teams are starting to be good now, except for sadly my Knicks, who must have had like Clyde leave or retire. Yeah, they, no, he did leave. He went to like the Pacers. Look at Boston. They're actually starting to fall off now. They didn't even make the playoffs this year. Dave Cowens, come on, big dog. They didn't make the playoffs. They could have had Larry a few years earlier, but you guys wanted to be good. Okay, let's simulate these playoffs. Actually, after I check out the stats, league leaders in points, King 37, Thompson 36, Archibald, Magic, no, Marquise Johnson and Pete Maravich. Rebounds, Abdul Jabbar, Sigma, Drew, Gilmore and Cowens, assists, Jojo White, Archibald, Raul Lopez, uh, Ricky Green, and Magic has no teammates, so he's fit. McAdoo shot 71% again, and uh, Chris, Chris gains like three. Okay, simulate round. New York Nets, deuces, Supersonics, deuces, Trailblazers, goodbye. Grizzlies, adios, Pacers, deuces, Warriors, Dan Issel again, I don't know. Uh, Atlanta, Lou Hudson, I don't know, goodbye. The hell's on the Pistons, don't remember. The Rockets made it to the second round, thankfully for the sake of, uh, what's his name, Soul, Bill Walton, and I don't, yet again, almost no, no, uh, almost no upsets, but uh, guess what? Bob Lanier, sorry, you lost to Bernard King, 63 points in game seven and winning by four. Now this Jordan record that's gonna be on here wasn't even a record anyways, because Michael's not even in the league yet, but Bernard King, well, he sets the record. The MVP himself and the seventh seed. Uh, yeah, no, he said, no, screw you. I'm gonna go to the second round. Now it's, uh, oh, he's probably gonna lose this round though. Let's see. Buffalo wins 4-0 over the Lakers. Kareem is not having anything easy. I don't think he won a championship in LA before Magic got there, right? I don't believe so. Maybe he did. No, I don't think so. Denver, Charlotte's out of here. Sorry, Bernard King. And deuces to the Bullets as well, which is Elvin Hayes and sure. Chicago artist Gilmore. It's literally just you against Dr. J, George McGinnis, Maurice Lucas. You lost. You lost. Keep it a stack. You lost. Buffalo, though, aka the Clippers versus Dan Dantley, McAdoo, and Malone versus Tom Janovich, Wilkes, and Bill Walton. That's pretty even. Let's see. Uh, 3-1 lead for Buffalo. It's actually 2-2 in the other conference. I was saying they lost, they lost, they lost, but they might win, win, win. Okay. It is 3-3 three, three over here. Hold on. It's getting real. Rockets got eliminated in six games. Sorry, Rockets. So definitely no repeat for Bill Walton. But now Chicago has been eliminated. The 76ers, like I anticipated, by 60 points. Almost 60. 59. The Buffalo Braves versus six. This is probably the most star-studded finals we've had yet, right? Maybe not. I don't know. But McAdoo and Danley versus Dr. J. Maurice Lucas. Malone versus McGinnis. And Malone was supposed to, in real life, go to the Sixers in a few years after this. Or maybe already should have been there. Actually, wait. Didn't he get traded there in his rookie year? I'm, I'm an idiot, right? Maybe, maybe he got traded to Houston in his rookie year. I could just look. Yeah, he went to Houston for a bunch of years. And then went to Philly. Won a ring like here. Then went to Washington after that. Then went to Atlanta. Then Milwaukee. Then Philly. Then San Antonio. Okay. A lot of teams. Game numero uno. Game one win goes to the Braves. 126, 104. Malone, 31. McAdoo, 28. 26 from Lucas. 20 from Irving. Game number two. This one goes to the Braves. 2-0 lead for them now. 33, 31, 21 from Money. Eric Money. This man's name is Money, giving you buckets. 33 and 13 from McAdoo. Yeah, nah, they got they got a Dr. J on clamps. Not really. He just didn't shoot a lot. Okay. Next one up. Wait, didn't these teams already play in the finals too? Or am I tripping? We're talking about most star studded, but they did get a couple more players, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. 133 left in this game. And it is tied 126, 126. Buffalo versus Philly. Dr. J. Yo, Dr. J looks crazy in this type of retro era. Dudley bringing out the ball. Dudley goes into the post. I like that out of these these old school guards over here protecting the ball like they're old. Um, Okay, Malone in the post now. Malone, oh, body and layup. Malone is good. 110 left. Irving, oh, little half spin. Drops the ball, picks it back up, but he passed over to free. World B to be exact. And he gets double teamed, throws it away to Malone. Malone now over to Dudley. Dudley up to Money. Money pulls up for the mini. Is he Money? No, no, he's not Money. Barnes, rebound is good. Put back, I shall say, but whatever. You get, you get the gist of it. Dr. J running the point down by two now. Or at least, you know, you know, uh, ISOing. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're setting up the ISO for him right here, right now. Does Dr. J got the moves like that? Let's see. To the basket. Step back. No. Down to Dietrich. Dietrich, the dunk is good. 36 seconds left. Now, I don't even know what the hell this shot clock is. They don't even have a shot clock on top of the backboard. That is crazy. Uh, dude, was there even a shot? I don't even know. Malone hook is good. 24 seconds left. 132, 130. Malone has 28 on 13 for 17. Did it sound like I was yawning when I was doing that? Because I was, even though, you know what I mean? Wait, what time is it? Like three? I don't know. Did I just not see? I don't know. Dr. J just got a wide open dunk on the lane to tie up the game. 20 seconds left. Another timeout. Oh boy, DA still reporting in 1979 or 80. Actually, this is 80 now. Malone passing to Dantley. Now they're tied. 132, 132, 18 seconds left. They take the last shot if they wanted, I would assume. I didn't change no shot clock rules. Is there a mod for shot clock rules? 
I don't know. It looks actually really cool without the three-point line. Let's see. Screen set. Dantley going right. He pulls up. Midi is off. Rebound. McAdoo. He puts it back up. He did he, wait, what? Did he just miss that? Is that in time too? I there's no there's no way for me to check it, to be honest with you. There isn't even a thing. There's no backboard. There's no red light or nothing. This is old school. This man missed this shot right here. This little bunny shot. Oh man, that's crazy. That's so crazy, McAdoo. Now you're gonna have to go to OT to defend your title. That's, I'm saying defend your title like you're reigning champions. No, that was Walton, right? Yeah, but then he left his team like an idiot. This is the only core we've seen so far, the Sixers. World be free gets fouled. I just subbed in here with 24 seconds left. Philly is up there. They fouled on that. Oh, yeah, right. There's no shot clock. World be free is getting free th um, free throw chance. Yes, free throw chance. MVP chance. World be free makes a second. Clippers have the ball down by three. 24 seconds left. They got to shoot a three. But where's the line? Ayo, hey, where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line? McAdoo pass it down to Dudley. They're not even going to shoot a three. Dudley, though, look at you stepping through, getting right past World B. Mr. B free makes the first free throw. The second free throw is also good. Obviously, this isn't even game four, game five, game six, game seven. So there's no winning here. But I mean, it's 2-0. Well, you know what I'm saying? Danley coming up here. They, they're leaving him from three, but they he didn't even care. Okay. Danley now going to the basket. Yeah, they don't they don't like no, they're taking all twos. I don't think they know what threes are in this era. Bro, be free. You want to oh my god, he missed the free throw. Okay, come on. A, a, a full court shot could save Buffalo from losing this game. Or well, really any shot. 4.4 seconds left into Dudley. Dudley, two seconds left. Pulls up half court. Oh, it's all 76ers take a one one to two deficit to be fair. They take their first game. 31 and 14 from B free and 32 from alone. Shit, a lot of players playing very, very well in this. Sixers take another win. Tie it up 2-2. Two, two. Dantley 21. No, Dr. J 27. Forget you, Dantley. Sorry, Dantley. But the Braves will take one more game to make it 3-2 in their favor. You know what I mean? Can't lose all their momentum. Okay, 28 from Dr. J, 27 from Dantley. Little battle going on. Sixers are going to force a game seven. I could see it coming. Yep. 16 point win. 35 from Dantley. 37 from Dr. J. They're going back and forth, back and forth. And the Clippers slash Braves slash whatever the hell. Probably had some more names too. And they used to be in uh well, wait. Oh my god, they are in Buffalo. I'm such an idiot. I was about to say, didn't they used to be in Buffalo? What is wrong with me? Uh 33 from McAdoo, 28 from World. And yes, as I'll just inbound this and get it over with the Buffalo Braves are gonna win their second championship of this video. In four years, right? We went 77, 78, 79, 80. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good for a team who has never made it past the conference finals after this for the next 30, 40, 50, 70 years. Um, okay. Spencer Haywood, is that wait, why did I say Spencer? No, that's Bob McAdoo. I'm such an idiot. They kind of look similar. Am I, am I bugging? Am I thinking the wrong Spencer Haywood? No, there's only one Spencer Haywood. Look at Adrian Dantley. I have his Galaxy Opal card in my team. I think he was just like a free, really trash one that nobody wants. Yeah. 33 and 13 from McAdoo. 20 and 16 from Malone. 28 from World B Free. 20 from McGinnis. 20 from Joe Jelly Bean. And 13 from Dr. J in game seven. So yeah, the Braves, though, they are victorious. 27 and 10 a game from McAdoo. Okay. 80s are complete. Or well, 70s are complete. So that was the first decade, first year of the 80s decade. Bob Love retired. Gail Goodrich retired. How do they have it programmed that Gail Goodrich won first team all rookie in 2013 and was an all star in 2007? Wait, that doesn't even make sense. What the hell? How were you an all star six years before you got drafted? This man, Gail Goodrich, is built incredibly different. Oh, hold on. I was, I was looking at this one more time. I seen Kurt Rambis, Glasses Man, Goat Man. I didn't even look at the draft lottery, but look, oh boy, my Knicks got number one pick. It looks like we're going to be riding on Kevin McHale into mediocrity for the entire decade. Sorry, Ewing. I guess we got McHale and said I would rather you, but oh my God, we drafted Darrell Griffith. Uh, DeMar DeRozan. That's pretty good. Kevin McHale has Hall of Fame and floor Kevin McHale out of the league. Doesn't make sense, but it does. Kiki Vandaway, the new like MB, he's some sort of high power in the NBA, uh, but he, you know what I mean? Andrew Wiggins, sure. Tyrone Hill for Rambis. Wow. Yeah, this draft class is really trash. Out to the guy who made this though, because it's actually like a solid compiling of the players, but you guys just suck. Like it's not his fault. He's really drafted Darrell Griffith or Daryl Griffith. I don't know what you want to call him. Gilmore, Maravich, Lanier, Lucas, Archibald. So I'm pretty sure Maravich should have been retired by now if it was real life. But it doesn't matter to me. Okay, most of the big guys retire. Uh, Gilmore is out of here. He went to the Grizzlies. Maravich went to the Spurs. That's kind of a weird spot for him. He's the Spurs, you know. First of all, actually, the Spurs didn't exist, right? Maybe they did. I don't think they existed. So now they've got a really good existence with Maravich. I mean, he hasn't done anything yet, though, Pete. Let's see what Pete ends up doing. Uh, Lanier went to the Heat. Lucas, the Bulls. Archibald, Nets. Okay. Rockets get Gervin. Suns get Malone. Wow, Malone left that team after all those years. He won MVP in 79, 82, and 80. That is crazy. I feel like after like 70, like three, most like the guys, like there was like a rarity of players that would just come in and be dominant like that from that young. Wow, wait, 79, 82. So he would he should have already won an MVP right by now in this league. At least he has two rings, though. It's more than his actual career. A lot of things changing. Hell, even Gian well, actually, I was about to say Giannis was the youngest hell won his MVP, but he still played like seven years. He was just young as hell coming to the league too just simulate through all of it it's where we we know the gist of it yeah, the
the Braves, after all that, they lost Malone. So, uh, wait, right? That's what, that's who, what team? He, yeah, yeah. Had him and Bow. I got confused because McAdoo was actually listed as a center, but they must have had him in a power forward all these years, right? Dantley, yep. Okay, so they're going to have to hold it down. They got an old Earl Marlon Rowe, but that's about it. Season number 1980-81. Ooh, the Isaiah Thomas draft class. Okay, hopefully all these guys are real. I doubt it. Maybe I got to find a better one. Should be good regardless, though. Then I go and download another draft class, and James Wiseman is here. Like, how the hell did you put James? All right, this one will do. We're good. But Isaiah Thomas being in here this or like well not this early but isaiah thomas draft class is a big draft class though because you know one of the greatest point guards of all time uh still got to check up though on my two teams which is the the, the magic johnson team and the larry bird team larry you're still just carrying your team you got a couple 80s though Speaking of that dr j is now the best player in the league tied with walton and uh thompson this new orleans jazz team has don ford phil ford chris ford and they have a fake stockton too before even getting john they have brett stockton oh you're right the mavericks is the other team i'm looking for where the hell is magic johnson there you go yep his team still sucks too i was wondering if any of those big time free inside with them and i just didn't put two and two together season number five now all right cool i had to take a cool like 10 second break not 10 second like 20 minute break you know what i'm saying i didn't even move honestly i'm just over listening to tupac and uh playing triple threat offline trying to get this danny ferry nard king what the hell is wrong with you hold on what the, the 41 9 and 6 a game get michael jordan bernard king is michael jordan at this pace I'm, I watch michael jordan coming in average 70 now Ed mikhail 19 11 a game walter davis artist gilmore Moses malone most improved player oh look at the he's getting ready for his mvp form he's going crazy 26 and 20 a game might have led the leagues in rebounds he was uh what was he called for rebounds barkley was the round mound he had some other nickname though doesn't matter to me um steve clifford coach of the year oh wait so that means bernard king yeah wait right right thompson maravich king bird and walton all nba first team second team nixon johnson lucas johnson again alone third team holland scott wilkes haywood and kareem abdul jabbar he's averaging 31 and 16 see league leaders this year so 41 from king then 32 33 from johnson that's how much of a drop off it is i mean not like the 33 isn't good but you know what i mean Man, king is just on a different level he is indeed the king and then david thompson pete maravich and kareem abdul jabbar rebounds malone lanier abdul jabbar walton sigma and then uh assist nixon white hold on norm nixon you've been going crazy with the assist whatever nonetheless uh jojo white pete maravich charlie scott and ricky green still no magic where is magic johnson oh uh, there he is yeah, he's gotta get his buckets with his awful team that he's on and uh bob McAdoo likes to make all the shots that he takes and Diego Sosa 47% okay you know everything else is not available so he probably didn't even shoot enough threes to be on here Magic and Bird make the playoffs this year can we see who didn't make it Bobcats miss it again Larry come on big dog gotta propel your team hello and Kareem missed it and Magic missed it that is a nuts three first teams to miss the playoffs that is crazy Moses missed it as well wow that's kind of crazy Pete Maravich missed the playoffs okay yeah we're starting to see a lot of good teams fall short oh no not Slick Watts falling short as well okay yeah Okay, well, uh, I, I got nothing else to say. Let's, let's just simulate the hell out of these playoffs real quick. Kansas City, deuces. Washington, goodbye. Pacers, adios. Blazers, deuces. Denver, how are you? I guess not great. Toronto, same to you. Boston, adios. Toronto's in the playoffs. Wow, that is that is actually the crazier part. Jack Sigma, is this Robin Lopez? No, it's Raul Ro Lopez. Uh, yep, and Kevin McHale. Right, wow. Yep, this team made the playoffs. East is way weaker than the West. Second round, okay, run through it. Uh, Magic, goodbye. Seattle, goodbye goodbye braves goodbye and bulls goodbye oh boy so the six seeded sixers so that is the first my bad the six seeds on both conferences won in the first round to upset seattle led by a marquise johnson 40 piece and of course dr j is dr j so he was able to pull this out with world be free the god but yeah but dr j though he's made it all the way to the conference finals again even without uh whoever the hell it was they lost they lost the power for forgot his name but he was good at basketball definitely he was definitely a little bit talented oh man bernard king though bernard king's the first seed 268 and 14 i didn't even check that out i'm stupid um okay it's 64 and 18 for the warriors so now it's warriors versus rockets they are two very very even teams as it's gervin and walton versus drew and Issel. you would think gervin and walton winning oh boy bernard king got him the hell up out of there as the warriors lose the rockets now we have bernard king carrying the hell out of his team although he does michael ray richardson too though jo against george gervin and bill walton this is this is actually might be the most interesting one yet because bernard king averaged 40 for god's sake he definitely i feel like he definitely must have broke the playoff record again right because he broke it once he wins the first game by six points king 45 and 13 as a knicks fan you know i'm happy to see my guy out here he actually didn't retire his number I, I actually saw though the other day that he only played like three seasons but he had some crazy games though some crazy years maybe not no successful winning years but i mean he scored a lot of points they didn't retire his jersey number you know why because this guy named randall wears it nowadays so i'm okay the hornets won it back to back 2-0 lead 62 and 10 oh yeah no he's definitely broken this record before i could already tell yep he dropped 78 that 
was that was fourth all the time or well third kind of since jordan doesn't really exist yet in this you know everything ever after 2020 really matters you know on, at least on the record board now we're going by like past years but you get it next round i mean not next round next game but uh it looks like the rock is gonna hold on and win this one yeah 125 120 king 43 not enough though i have no clue what the series lead is but all i know is it's 44 or 94 94 44 seconds left oh i did i okay i definitely have control of that team that was not smart of me up oh, still miles with the ball he's gonna do go to the basket i don't know what the hell he's doing pass it down to jones jones with the dunk what number does king wear look at the bench the bench is invisible these people are floating they're, they're crazy upper body strength wow bernard king you surprised he's the player of the game what does he have in this game if he has 60 it's gonna be okay he only has 24 but still larry keenan passing in the ball he's gonna pass in the ball to lucas lucas to murphy murphy now he's got walton rolling to the basket he's gonna keep it though pass it no okay steps back mid-range is off rebound jones charlotte's up 2-1 in the series and right now it looks like they're not fouling okay there there goes the foul i think this game's probably i'm gonna i'm gonna safely just sim out of this one this game's probably over and what the hell did it just go to ot i think it went to ot and the and the rockets won okay that's um that's definitely that's great overtime that that is insane i, I thought they were gonna hit some free throws but no of course they missed the free throws because 2k oh it's two to two hold on this is a great game game five game five it is 112 112 and he just hit the free throw george gervin so okay it's 113 112 that works too spin moves but behind the back hold on to the basket uh you have somebody down there who is that down there actually walton steals it anyway so only 24 seconds left houston's up by one point now they're not gonna foul i don't think they're double teaming though over to walton walton now down to tom Janovich. his layup is good houston after almost just being down 3-1 like two seconds ago until i simmed out of that game um they are now looking to come back in a pretty pretty big time way was that robert it looked like robert Parrish. i don't think he got drafted maybe no he probably would have he would have definitely been in the league by now but i don't know where the hell he's at was that him was that just, it is robert Parrish. i knew it i drafted in 76 okay so he's on the hornets so walton player of the game new balance 30 on 15 for 19 shooting so they're going to pass it into so i still don't know what number king wears i think he's uh he's right there he's number whatever 30 yeah oh, oh wait that makes sense i was just not referencing it i didn't know if he was still wearing it on this team though uh richardson gets double team pass it up to jones jones back to richardson and he throws it away to gervin george gervin picks up the steal and they're gonna take a 3-1 lead i'm gone i'm gone again that is crazy 117 114 win what did uh bernard had 46 and still lost i mean yeah he's obviously not playing with the god squad out there uh but yeah so yeah i mean if you have 46 and you're the rest of your team to score like a cool 50 to win game this game though it looks like they're gonna hold it down just fine 138 124 career high 74 although i don't even think that's higher than the other game that we saw right then you have 76 in a playoff game bernard 78 74 63 62 this man is a cheat code bernard king ladies and gentlemen game seven of the nba finals it is close but okay okay um let's jump in one minute left it's game seven in the finals i mean we got nothing to lose I really waste too much time we're in this type of situation okay kind of like the biggest stage in the history of basketball hell i think it's the biggest i think it's the first game seven this entire thing right unless i'm having short-term memory loss it's already been like three hours of simulating i'm only like five uh five years in for me at least i like edit i mean i don't like editing but i edit the videos so yeah you won't be seeing this for three hours hopefully let's see lucas trying to get around throws it down and Parrish almost steals it but then walton recovers and gets an n1 that is one hell of a turn of events for the uh for the hornets or bobcats or what? no this is hornets this is hornets magic is on the bobcats that's where it gets confusing that's funny though I, I, who the hell cares two charlotte teams is funny and one of them is in the western conference harris passes into the corner miles shoots the three immediately that is off rebound oh yeah 46 seconds left they're not gonna foul yet obviously but pass over to tom Janovich. look at the the post mismatch right there if you don't pass him the ball real quick yeah give it a keen on yeah yeah larry yep and end him real come on larry hit him with a post move or something hit him with some larry La okay there you go pulls up another stupid three i mean not really stupid in this scenario B bernard now open for three that one is off even bernard can't hit i mean i don't know if he's really shooting threes like that but regardless houston rockets are going to win oh bill walton is going to win another championship out to the rockets too though uh the rockets win I, I mean obviously they won with akeem but i'm thinking of before that i don't know i don't know if they won before 94 95 but uh you tell me congratulations to these guys and uh, they exist in basketball history now i mean obviously they kind of already did but now they exist exist in successful basketball history Look at the low why is the uh, low quality hornets logo that's funny obviously we're you know good and well walton's about to win another finals is this his second or third ring no second second because he left his other team after he won the first one look at nick nurse the coach of this team okay oh would nick nurse have been probably unborn no he would have been born right obviously my god this is 1981 what am i talking about what have you been an infant how old is nick nurse like 40 some 42 43 42 speaking of 40s you from bernard king but he lost to walton's 25 15 gervin yeah just too much firepower you got it bernard you'll be back you might be the at this 
where you're going to be the most dominant player of the whole 80. Bill Walton, 26 and 18 a game, six assists, win finals MVP. Bernard averaged 48 a game in the playoffs. I want to see how many games he didn't score 40. Or matter of fact, let's say 30. Did he ever have a game under 30? No, not once. Literally not once. I'm in the regular season now looking at the. Oh my God. This is a regular season game too. Oh no, no. That was the first. The first game of the playoffs, he dropped 78. That's incredible. All those records he put up in this run were they were all in this run except for this one. Oh my God. That is crazy. Lou Hudson retired. Look, man, just got some food. Look, I only did a couple of face cam videos when I was doing face cam videos, but after I did them every single, every, all the time I'm getting mentioned about green tea. Come on now. It's crazy. I don't even, you know I mean? I might have it like twice, three times a week actually nowadays, but uh, call me on a good day. You know, once upon a time, Jay-Z said he cooks, uh, what did he say? He said he packs heat like he was the oven door, but I want to know what was cooking in the oven. Okay. So this is the Isaiah Thomas here. I'm actually kind of excited for this one. Who the hell is at the top of this draft? Like, watch it be the Pistons. The Jazz. Jazz and Knicks, though. Give them to my Knicks. Come on. Ah, you guys fell to fit. Cavaliers logo was virtually disgusting. Why virtually? I don't know. I mean, I guess it technically is virtually. Okay, what about this year's draft? Spurs get IT. Or, well, Zeke. I mean, because I don't really... Did they call him IT? Yeah, they just called him Zeke a lot. I don't even know how he got the nickname Zeke, honestly. Went over in one video how Isaiah... I mean, how uh, Iverson got the nickname Bubba Chuck from being called, well, Bubba Chuck. I still don't know how that works, but okay. Mark Aguirre to the Cavaliers. Tom Chambers to the Jazz. Buck Williams to the Nets. I thought I was about to say Chris Cross to the Knicks. I have no clue who this is. Calbert Cross. Rolando Blackman to the Buck. He has actually had some crazy, crazy simulation videos. If you know, you know. I don't think those were recent. So if, if you know, let me know what video was it that Rolando Blackman was bugging out in. I, I, don't, I, actually, I actually don't remember myself. I do too many of these. You know me. All right. Uh, free agency. Let me see. Bernard. Oh, he's restricted, of course. Of course, of course. Kareem is also restricted, too. And so is Marquise Johnson. Dave Collins, though. You can, uh, you're 32, so you get the hell up out of there if you want to. Uh, uh, Kareem being restricted is kind of crazy, though, because he's old as hell. But uh, I mean, he's not old as hell, but he's old. Bernard still with the Hornets. Kareem left the Lakers for the magic like he was reverse Shaq. Some Shaq gnosis on that may have made him be the opposite. Uh, okay, Marquise Johnson, Supersonics, he stood. Dave Cowens goes to the Mavericks. Taking a sip of the green too. Cedric Maxwell, Rudy Tom Janovich goes to the Lakers to replace Kareem. That's definitely not a good replacement. My guy Clyde sit with the paces. I hope he's doing well. All right, Play progression. So uh, Walton and Gervin still intact. It's nice to see the Hawks retain their good basketball player and Bernard King, Robert Parrish. Come on now, you got to help him out a little bit. Season number, I want to say six. But all I know is it's 81, 82 now. Ooh, Drexler and Dominique are in this draft class. I hope this is correct. Either way, this is fire and worthy. Underrated draft class. Why don't I hear about this one? Let me make sure though. Wow, good thing I looked it up. It's not correct. Clyde Drexler was not in this draft class. This is what basketball reference is telling me. But worthy and Dominique were though. So this should be, this is fine. This one is fine. Cool, cool. Yo, I want to say, yo, uh, what were we in? Like six, uh, six years in by now? Yo, everybody who watches my videos is real as hell, ba or let's just say 30% because dog, even if you didn't finish, you could be real. You know what I mean? But 30%, YouTube told me on the analytics page that 30% of the people who watched the four hour video finished the entire video out of the 1.2 million people. That is just stupid. It doesn't make sense. It's like breaking the YouTube alg algorithm. Eh. That means at least like what? 400,000 people or something finished the entire four hours. That's just stupid. Uh, here's the all stars for this year. Bernard King, captain, of course, Bill Walton, captain as well. But if you go, if you finish this video as well as that last video too, hell as well as a lot of these videos, you're going down into this his the history of this channel as much as I am. I don't care. Bernard King averaged 51 points per game. You, you demon. Isaiah Thomas, rookie of the year. Of course, of course, with San Antonio. I like their jersey. Harry Tyler, six minutes. Does he not have a face scan? Oh, okay. We're going to hope we never see him again. Igor Nevsky, Artis Gilmore. Willis Reed, coach of the year. Wow, that's cool. Was he in the league when we started up? I don't think. May he could have been. He could have been. He won the 1970 MVP. Thompson, Johnson, King, Johnson again, and Bill Walton. What's Marquise averaging? Oh, man. Mar wow, he just dropped 63. New career high for him, it says. Second team All-NBA. Bird is there. And uh, Maurice Lucas, uh, Bob Dangers, Bob McAdoo, 32. Cool. 57 and 25. That's for the Rockets. That's for the reigning champions, right? They were the reigning champions. That's why I'm on them in the first place. Right, right, right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, Magic Johnson with Dave Cowens. I didn't put two and two together in a little bad weather. Shout out Kanye West. And Kevin Rastani. I don't know who you are. Oh, wow. You're actually a real person too. Okay. But you guys are the first seed, if I'm not mistaken. I just read off that they were the first seed. And is Larry's team here yet? No. Man, Larry had a whole... Oh, yes, 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 they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Speaking of that, it's Larry Bird and Larry Nance. For a second, my heart just dropped because I thought it was Larry Nance Jr. And somehow this league broke. But it's his father. It's his father. Larry Bird, though, led his team to the eighth seed, which is mid, but respectably. But you know what I mean? At least he got there. And uh, Bernard King is God. How did you average? I don't think I've ever seen anybody average.
averaged 50 points before. When is the when have we ever seen anybody average 50? Let me see real quick. Season stats, elite leaders. Oh my god. This is with the pace on 42. Not 42, but 40, comma two. You, you got that right. 51, 10, and 5. Okay, but wait, wait. 51 from Bernard, then David Thompson, e Igor Nevsky. What the hell? I don't know who you are, but I give you your props. You're an 80 overall. You're probably like the only good player in the Timberwolves. That makes sense. Marquise Johnson and Magic Johnson, 34 points per game. Wow. Moses Malone, Bill Walton, Lanier, Cowens, and Sigma and rebounds and assists with Nixon, Sheiks, Green, Maravich, and more. Mo Cheeks, well, I, if I'm not mistaken, one of the best defenders of all time up there in steals. And then Bill Walton in blocks. Bob McAdoo doesn't miss shots. And uh, Lynn Miles. All right, let's do it, dog. Um, let's just simulate. Okay, Buffalo Braves. Oh, this man McAdoo already. Wait, where were they at? They were the they were the, the third seed. Yeah, yeah, they were the third seed and lost. And then Chicago beat out Boston. Look at Chicago back up here in the standings. Okay, with Maurice Lucas. Oh yeah, that's who left. Uh, whatever the hell his name is. Uh, that's who left the Sixers. Dr. J and them. I already know this video is gonna take multiple days. It's been like five hours of recording, and I'm uh, into season number six. But uh, yeah, I left for a little bit. Please, though, I'd appreciate if you. I mean, like the video if you hear right now, because yeah, I mean, uh, Seattle. In fairness, I feel like I always look overly tired even when I sleep 86 hours a day. So um, I'm probably the perfect person to do a 12, t uh, 25 hour simulation. Miami eliminated, Orlando eliminated the two two uh, Florida teams, deuces, and the two teams that don't exist. To be fair, right? They both didn't exist. Philadelphia, adios. Charlotte, goodbye. Houston, adios. So Portland beat out Buffalo. That is crazy. Buffalo yet again. I'm always talking about how Bob McAdoo don't miss shots, but I guess he's missing shots now. Dang it, wait, hold on too. So even after that too, Toronto, Toronto. Toronto beat Miami 4-1, led by 26 and 13 a game from Kevin McHale. How old is McHale? Just 22 in his second year out here, bodying the playoffs. Bodying, I tell you. And one more upset. The Rockets lost to Dan Issel. That's an even crazy one because that's the reigning champs, right? Unless I'm having... I, I did leave for a good minute, so let's see. Golden State is out of here. They lose to Dallas. Toronto beats Chicago. Sorry to... um, What's his name again? He just had a crazy... Actually, oh, look, it's an Underwood offspring. Noel or Noel or Noel? Noel or Noel Underwood? But either way, you yeah, you got it. But you did lose Norm Nixon, right? You right, right, right. You're pretty nice. And Maurice Lucas. Well, wow, that's a nice little duo. But you guys lost in OT. Wow, you guys lost in OT by one. It's actually it was probably like four OT by the how much they scored. And Mo Cheeks, 44 and 10. I don't even think you were known for scoring, but okay, okay. And let's finish these off real quick. Okay, 4-2 win by the uh, Portland Trailblazers over Memphis. So Collins and uh, wow, wait, this is after they lost. Uh, what's his name? Bill Walton. So they just with Eddie Johnson and this guy alvin adams man lionel hollins is carrying them to the conference finals again back again even without billy boy that'd be a nice little redemption story in indiana they lose to charlotte so we got the one verse six seed in both conferences kind of weird oh my god of course toronto wait no, no no toronto's not even never mind never mind my bad where the hell they don't even have actually they don't even have things behind them they don't even have silhouettes because neither one of these teams exists that's crazy but of oh well my bad toronto's a team with sigma but of course the hornets made it because that's bernard king you know what i'm saying and my prediction this year would be bernard king wins his champion championship finally because he's looking well no he's he's the best player in the league he's the best player in the league. doesn't even matter give him anybody nard king is looking like the lebron of this league and i love it he's like a cool guy he's wrote a couple of books maybe just one i'm bugging and the mavericks um uh, magic John he's playing the two doesn't matter they got three really good basketball players They're all better than anybody on the blazers so you guys should be good right so we about to see bernard and magic oh boy yeah no we could tell that was coming 4-0 sweeps both the way bernard king versus magic a young magic john they're both young to be fair both been drafted in the you know uh escape of this video but okay both can put the ball in the basket and pass the ball and rebound and stuff I'm excited for this one okay come on what's going down right now hornets and hey, mavericks just missed a close let's jump in let's jump in i'm excited this now and i've been saying okay we got this matchup we got this great matchup but no this is the biggest star studded matchup yet and ironically it's between two teams that didn't exist but they drafted the great players so congrats to them pass into jones jones back out to richardson richardson screen set he's gonna throw it down to parish parish gets met at the rim by cowins Dave Cowens, whose ball is it? They're not even going to tell us. Okay, it's the other way. Cowens, great play. 29 seconds left. Mavericks have the ball, and they are also up by two. So they really need that bucket badly. They should have gave it to the guy named Bernard King, who averages 50. Whatever uh, mods, because I was playing this game the other day with no mods on it, and the graphics did look kind of behind compared to next gen. But whatever mods I got on this one that I just installed without even knowing, um, yeah, they, they're fire. Uh, Magic Johnson back out to Manglet. Manglet for three, whatever the hell your name is. Okay, rebound by uh, Ray Richardson. Four seconds left. They call a time out to advance the ball we can see the three-point line on this court but uh kind of like when we can't see it to be honest with you Do they have another three-point line on the inside like for like women's or, or a high, high school or something Did, am i bugging or did i just see that magic johnson player of the game already on 14 for 15 25 shooting my bad yeah, look at that they have another three-point line going around like that meets with the free throw arc thing uh passing the king
playing king three seconds king goes right pulls up for three bernard oh that would have been so dirty dallas is going to win game one bernard had 59 nobody else on his team had over 10 this has been a lot of fun already i'm not even, it genuinely sometimes like i'm like lying to myself and like i'm saying oh yeah it's been fun but it really has been fun but this one's been fun it's all because of bernard king bodying the entire league so let's but but you have to win games though you can't keep losing to magic johnson or really anybody you lost last year in the finals too you're gonna lose again magic 50 and 10 bernard at 36 probably the first time he's been outscored in a game in about five years or at least in a meaningful one mavericks again mavericks and magic go together pretty well you know the names yep you get it uh what am i getting into right now you trying to get into oh the mavericks are gonna end one dunk all right slow it down real quick and now uh, this one should be over it should be over for him let's see yep 115 111 magic 51 and 10 king 62 but the mavericks are up 3-0 despite one of the greatest individual finals play to player to player matchups ever and they're going to win the championship magic johnson wastes no time but he did waste a little bit of time because in real life we're in 83 now 83 we're in 82 i think in real life he won in his rookie year 1980 as the uh you know what i mean oh hold on can i get a bucket with him real quick ha 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 oh man oh man oh magic oh magic johnson that does a smooth layup animation i don't think they have the one on next gen saying what a move there thank you thank you so much yes sir the mavericks are the champions oh my bad i just want to go adjust something and it took the thing off the screen now it's really awkwardly frozen there you go and they've done it the new nba champions wow thank you so much uh what's his name again Clark Kellogg, marv albert steve smith steve stout steve from minecraft even a smith steven jackson all the smokes stefan marbury those nasty short shorts man if you don't oh my god nasty bastards um 31 5 and 8 from magic 28 and 14 from cowens 30 14 and 5 from king ralph Sim wait what ralph simpson forget ralph samson a few years early we got ralph simpson and robert parish out here but yeah um i didn't even see that i didn't even really the numbers didn't even stick in my head but magic 41 and 8 a game in the finals that's all i need to see move on honey hawkins retired earl monroe called it a day i finished all my green tea the mug is empty let me put it somewhere else right next to the xbox i don't use. rick barry retired too he's a 69 overall this man wasn't even on a team hold on look at don adams chilling don adams looked like you know he looked like like drum you remember drum with the broccoli song with a uh, little yachty nah, but drums dropped some fire since though but you know i mean streets don't know about that you know what i'm saying the streets aka the internet sydney low mavericks okay oh well that's the team that just won the ring, ring. so wait 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 was he the head, co head coach yeah okay sydney low said screw all that draft lottery james worthy's a great guy to have so is dominique wilkins nicks you're up here again if you guys lose the first pick again oh my god they dropped a fifth it's funny i'm not gonna lie it's funny i'm not rooting for no team so it, it's it's a little funny but let's see can you get any you got craig hodges why is paul pressing oh god why are you guys all in your prime uh, try fixing this real quick hold on hold on hold on hold on i'm about to restart this the guy who made that draft class i want to say screw you royally all right cool so i just went through and fixed the overalls of all the guys manually honestly it's whatever hey i did i did my best pretty solid fix though i literally fixed it but uh one thing though uh, the cavaliers had two picks and picked up paul pressy and dominique Wilkins, so that's pretty significant they all got drafted in solid enough order and uh james worthy went to the pistons definitely keep an eye on that as well as the cavaliers now the knicks craig hodges i'm not really uh they, they said he's raymond felton whether it's a ceiling or a floor so i'm not really too excited about that one not that raymond felton raymond felton was cool you know what i mean maybe not cool enough to be the fifth pick or actually i think he was the fifth pick oh cheeks in here oh why is the morale hidden i don't even got do i have morale on i don't think i have it on oh i just skipped all the way the health through here there was nobody that crazy in there anyways bird is the best player in the league yet he's never even gave us an, a given us a deep playoff run in either of his two years just yet kind of three though because well it even says years three david thompson second best with bill walton is uh dr j uh, regressing now too wow magic's of course already up here and then bernard king is bernard Ber dog this is like the meanest stat line i've ever seen if only it was like a triple double too but you you just need yourself a ring though hopefully you've got yourself some help in that free agency season number well it's 80 82 83 two things that are funny i'm looking at the 1983 draft right now never knew clyde jackson was the 14th pick and also sydney Lowe just retired as the coach of the mavericks is just getting drafted in the actual nba in his actual career ah uh, yes fun facts but yeah this this draft class is hopefully good hopefully they don't screw me over again i don't know i'm just kind of guessing at this point bernard king's team is still the exact same he's probably taking up all the money i didn't really check but i'm just gonna get all stars bernard and bill of course jim paxson one time all star magic oh yeah i forgot about moncrief too sydney moncrief two time dpoi the legend did a video a long time ago on like top five best defensive versus offensive players i still get comments to this day like where is kobe where is jordan where is this person i'm like the whole point was that it was players that could only play defense versus players that can only whatever you get it bernard king mvp 46 and 10 a game which isn't as crazy as last year but it's still insane probably the second best mvp season uh in this in the video at least we'll go with that aaron thor 
Corp. Oh, yeah. Um, you don't exist. The guys must have had multiple years in the years pro. It's all good, though. Left Darius, Diamond, Amon, Amon, most approved. Can we acknowledge how Artis Gilmore has won like almost every single DPOI? He's won six. Is that all of them? No, he missed 2024. He's like got like the most ever or something. Brad Stevens, coach of the year. Magic, Thompson, King, Clark, Kellogg, and Bill Walton. And Clark, I think, just got drafted. He had some years pro on him, but it's cool. Either way, I mean, he was only an 84 overall, and he dropped the 25 and 13 a game with the Hawks. Jim Paxson, Norm Nixon, Marquise Johnson, Maurice Lucas, Bob McAdoo. I didn't even look at the third team. I don't know, who cares? League leaders, king in points. Not too far behind is David Thompson and Magic Johnson, but then Marquise Johnson, Bob McAdoo a little bit further down. Still all over 30, probably only five over 30 in the league. And Moses Malone leads in rebounds where you know his uh, repertoire. We know he's known for that. Artist Gilmore, Lanier, who's, uh, by the way, Gilmore's now in Memphis. Forgot about that. Oh, he left Chicago for one year to Golden State, then went to Memphis. Wonder how his short trip to the Bay was. Lanier, Walton, and Cowens, and then uh, assist. Cheeks, Mord, Magic Johnson finally up here. Nixon and Pete Maravich. McAdoo, 74% shooting is definitely the highest ever. I know Mitchell Robinson just shot like 72%, and that was the highest ever. And that's in like 2020. So, um, yeah. Lynn Miles shoots some threes. Standing 69 and 13 from the Braves. They're still holding on strong. McAdoo going crazy still to this day, even with a 75 overall next to him. They got Brad Stevens as coach. 66 wins for the Warriors. But John Drew, still, I really don't know who this is. Jim Paxson out here with them. 60 wins from the Vancouver Grizzlies. Cedric Maxwell and Artis Gilmore. Wow. And Bill Lambeer, who was drafted third overall a few years back. I think that was the Magic draft. Probably on the, on the other conference. Hornets, 60 wins, but nobody else. So Bernard King is probably going back to the finals again. Let's just see, dog. Let's see what's going down here. First round, Denver is out of here. They get eliminated to Memphis. Pistons are out of here. Dallas. That's Magic. Magic, after winning the ring, loses. He was the seven seed, too. Who did they lose? Not lose, too, but who did they lose in order to be the seven seed? I don't even know. Miami, adios, Portland. Poodles, Portland. Philadelphia, out of here. Dr. J, your reign of terror is over, I would assume. Pacers, goodbye. I mean, Dr. J is still cool, but he he's just cool. You know what I'm saying? He's just cool. And then Maurice Sheik's giving him buckets, although they were actually teammates in one of the years, uh, the year when they won the ring. Like in real life, you know? Not in this. How is this team for this season not available? What What the hell? For his year for this team, what? Portland versus Houston. Houston gets a little upset. That's Bill Walton for you. That's Bill Walton. He comes back this year with some vengeance. No other upsets, though. Let's just continue. Toronto's out of here. I apologize. I don't remember who's on your team. Orlando Magic. Really don't remember who's on your team because Magic's on the Mavericks. I only mention him because you guys have the same name. Or uh, the Houston Rockets. Sorry, Bill Walton. And then Golden State, who actually was the only upset up on here. Two versus three. They lose. John Paxson. Or no, Jim Paxson. Right, right, right. And Dan Issel. Yeah, they lose. So Cedric Maxwell and Artis Gilmore make their way to the conference finals. I'm actually intrigued in that because Artis has been kind of dominating on the defense event. So is he going to go, you know what I mean? Is he, we finally going to award defense. 2K. Okay. Maurice Lucas and uh, Jamal Wilkes, Norm Nixon against Bernard King. But Bernard King is like four players in one, you know? With Ralph Simpson on his team. I'm still not over that. He's definitely, I would assume he's a real person, but like, actually, isn't Ralph Sampson in the league now? No, actually, that's next year, next year, next year. And Vancouver, Cedric Maxwell and Artis Gilmore versus Adrian Dantley and Bob McAdoo. That's interesting for sure. Very tough competition, but Buffalo, Bob McAdoo yet again with Larry Steele. Larry Steele. Okay, Larry. They're going to the finals, and on the other side, well, it's kind of close. Click simulate round. Okay, Shaw takes one more, and Shaw takes one more after that by three points. Norm Nixon, sorry. Bernard King's 45. Oh my God, he's averaging 50 again in the playoffs. He's dropped 63. He's dropped 74 again. He's dropped 61, 52, 54, 54, 57. Yeah, yeah, I was I was reading off the 60s for a 60 plus. And now it is the Buffalo Braves versus the Hornets. One of the multiple time champions, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or no, no, just one time champions. But they, it's been a minute and they're trying to get back in the mix. It's been six years against Bernard King, who's still looking for his first despite his third straight appearance. Let's see what happens. We've done all this and there's still no Michael Jordan as uh, the Hornets win their first game or the first game bernard king dominates it says but 69 points he's not playing around this finals who's guarding him again i forget oh wait george gervin's on the other team right or maybe it was somebody else i don't know oh, no dantley right 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 or it's win another game though oh bernard king 44 11 and 6 man curtis blow mentioned all of these players i'm i'm referring to in this in that one song in the basketball is my favorite sport i like the way to dribble up and down you know what i'm talking about he said and bernard king at some point in there i don't know when it was but he said and bernard king man curtis blow said bill russell didn't take no Junk. And Daryl Dawkins got a monster dunk, huh? <laughs> what was Curtis Blow on? The, he, he was on He was on his last name. 2-0 lead for the team that's up in Charlotte. 108-103, Danley 23, McAdoo 20-43 from King. We don't care. He had more points. He had the 
same amount of points as you two had combined, right? I forget what they already had, but uh, yeah, I think it was that. Okay, Braves won the game. That's cool. That's cool. McAdoo 32. King was relaxing. King was just chilling, enjoying the Charlotte weather. I don't know how the Charlotte weather is. I've never been to Charlotte, but I'm just gonna. It's it's definitely. I don't know. It's something. Okay, they lost another game. King stopped relaxing. He had 54. He definitely wasn't relaxing. He still could have been though, considering that he averages that. On Bernard, Bernard, you need one. You need one before it's all said and done. You need just just one, just one, and you you can merit merit your entire existence. Yep. Five seconds left. 103, 114. Hornets lead. Pass it in real quick to Michael Ray. Michael Ray, he's gonna just dribble it out a little bit. Take a little shot for no reason. He's gonna hit that too, even though I don't even know Michael Ray could hit like those. But yeah, the Charlotte Hornets are going to win the NBA championship. Willis Reed was the coach of the of the Bernard King team too. Wow. Oh, these short shorts, man. If you don't mod these to be longer down to the knees or something, my God. Bernard King, the finals MVP. I feel like I haven't seen that animation, that, that would celebration animation animation on next gen 2k they take that out that i missed when they had variety even if it was just two different celebrations this guy right here right there with the arms crossed behind his head like this he looks like he's going through it 51 from can't wait is he going no he's a hornet shirt on so he's just happy why does it say hornets playoffs instead of hornets finals you know what i mean you can't put finals on there whatever hey yo bernard king 50 points yet again he won his ring bro russell didn't take no chance bernard 47 8 and 6 a game with four steals a game in the fight in the uh yeah in the finals and 50 a game in the 49 in the game in the playoffs a little bit but David, hey, oh, David Thompson, you were solid too. Where has David Thompson been, matter of fact? Nuggets, right there, eliminated again. Why has David Thompson never been to a finals? I feel like David Thompson should be having the same impact Bernard King is having, honestly. And the boomer brush system was never as prevalent in the last gen as it is as it is in uh, next gen. So um, he should still be just fine. Uh, let's. He wasn't even a draft pick. Randy Smith retired. I like I like your picture. Looks like he would be an earth, wind, and fire or something. He definitely witnessed the 21st night of September. Uh, Clyde Drexler is first. Jeff Malone, Doc Rivers. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. And Ralph Sampson is Ralph. This man never got injured. He would have been a demon. So, I mean, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he was the first pick. Just said Dale Ellis was the only one with an injury concern. Ralph Sampson, first pick to my Knicks. Alonzo Morning Hall, all NBA ceiling. Although Alonzo has not been drafted yet, but we'll let it slide, though. Clyde Drexler, Timberwolves, 79 overall. Okay, cool little addition there. Ceiling Michael Jordan Hall of Fame, Floor Joe Dumars. That's kind of a crazy thing. Thankfully, all these guys are correct overalls, too. So, that's always a blessing. Hopefully that never happens again. I can't remember what the guy's using anymore. So I never download his draft classes ever again. Larry Bird restricted. Magic Johnson restricted. Okay. And Kareem can leave his team. He's 36. What are we in now? We're about to be in. Oh, we're about to be in 84. It's that. It's that time. It's that time. Bob McAdoo is regressing. Oh no. I mean, he's only been so good for so long. In like almost a whole decade now. That's crazy. Magic is the best player in the league. Followed by David Thompson and Larry Bird tied at 98. Pretty deep into Bird's career too. Because this is, this is 84. Bird retired in like 91. But Larry, you got like seven seven years left to make your mark i mean then again you did when you're back to your like three peat of, of uh mvps in like 84 85 and 86 so you yeah you definitely you got a lot of leeway still see what he's got in store but bernard king he's been larry bird if not better um no he's been better he's been better i can tell you that much 1984 this draft class better not hold me I like the little 70s theme you see the little flowers behind like the lakers when i scroll over i like the flowers that goes over the, the goes over the calendar whenever i scroll over anything oh my god hakeem michael where is uh i need me a um I gonna lie, I gotta find one that has me a Charles Barkley. Yes, sir. There goes the round man of rebate. Hey, Lambros, Dorikas. Yeah, uh, actually, is this even a good one? Whatever. As long as you got Barkley, Jordan, Stockton, Olajuwon, Team Bernard, and Team Bill. Young World Be Free. Uh, what's it called? He is the starter yet again, or at least he is. Harry Cummings, one-time All-Star. Darrell Griffith, one-time All-Star. Those are the only two one-time All-Stars. So everybody else, though, here is a seasoned vet. And why is Larry Bird not a starter? Right, if you don't pick it up. I love Larry Bird, too. If you don't do something. 41 one nine and five a game for bernard king's at least third straight mvp clyde drexler rookie of the year larry nance six man of the year bill walton dpoy like he's the only one who's got one aside from a what's his name the other guy i forgot his name artist gilmore calbert cross most improved tate lock coach of the year he's still a coach out here johnson thompson king johnson again and bill walton all nba first team second team is moncrief world be free clark kellogg kevin McHale, and jack sigma kellogg still is an 84 and he's still out here body and everybody and dr j and bird on the third team. Vancouver Grizzlies are an incredible basketball team led by Cedric Match Maxwell, Artis Gilmore, and Bill Amb Oh, yeah, right, right. Yet again. Yep, yep. You guys were good last year, too. McAdoo and Dantley still holding it down with 62 wins. And then nobody uh, higher than 55 in the East. But Steven, I'm uh, not Steven, my bad. Sidney Moncrief, 31 and 6 a game, plus the elite defense he'd be given. And he shot 60% from the field. Lead him to the first seed. That's interesting, too. Very interesting, especially if he guards against Bernard King. Because I already know. Look, let me see. Sydney real quick. And you gotta have the mean. If they don't give him the mean, yeah, 
99 defense. Ah, uh, ah, uh, get clamps, interceptor, lightning, big dodge of tire. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Raptors up here yet again. Anybody though? Anybody trash? And we need to know about it. Hawks, Celtics, Celtics. Oh man. Oh, they. Mm, yeah. Hey, maybe you draft Michael though, or really any of them. Washington Bullets. You guys still trash too out here. Fake Ricky. Gr fake uh, Ra Robert Pack. I swear that's definitely Robert Pack, unless I'm absolutely insane, which I am to be fair. Isaiah. To oh my. If they match. If they put Isaiah and Jordan on the same team, I'm a bug out. Jordan, Isaiah, and Maravich, to be fair. He's on his way out for sure. And uh, Daryl Dawkins and the Kansas City Kings were bad. Okay. Oh, my. Kareem again. Wait. No, wait. No, this isn't even Kareem anymore. I don't even know where Kareem went. That's crazy. Like, Kareem just, just drifted off into the sunlight. Hold on. Moses Malone is on the Nuggets now. But David Thompson, that's dirty. Dirty in a good way, not dirty in a bad way. And they're third best in that conference. But yeah, I don't even remember where Kareem went. Wait, that was that Chris Tucker? Oh, that was Cedric Tucker. Shout out Chris Tucker. And picked up a new career. Kareem is on the Cavaliers and they're awful. He just went here too. Cavaliers with Dominique and yeah, they're not good. They're not good. So maybe they draft Michael. Everybody's gonna have a pretty solid chance at him. Barkley, King 41, Magic 35, Johnson. Wait, that's another Johnson. 32, 31 from Vandaway and Moncrief 31. Rebounds, Walton, Sigma, Drew, Nader, Malone, Assist, Johnson, Moore, Davis, Cheeks, Scott. I'm gonna just stop there for now. Let's get it popping. We start off with the Miami Heat. Disappointing. And uh, Orlando disappointing both teams disappointing the entire state i was actually about to say miami disappointing the state of florida but then i for, for, forgot there was two teams and they both disappointed houston's out of here denver's out of here seattle's out of here new york nets are out of here new york knicks are out of here sorry to new york but wait is buffalo still in i don't know speaking of that buffalo is in the western conference even though we know buffalo is not in the west but it's cool because he was going to become the clippers anyways golden state beat denver bro oh man this man david thompson was down bad i mean in fairness david thompson i don't think he won a ring anyways in real life but we just think in a simulation like this when you start off with like as like one of the best players you know in fairness i mean this was like the least disrespect wasn't david thompson on like crack or something then dallas beat out seattle okay magic johnson with 60 points and dave cowens with 38 beat out marquise johnson and dr j beats out uh, dr j is still in here there you go dr buffalo braves eliminated real quick by the uh whatever seed warriors philadelphia sorry dr j and then vancouver the first seed loses yet again magic johnson he still got to get his rings too and Golden State, uh, Paxson, Issel. Okay, you're going to meet up against Magic. Nard King is an unstoppable force. I'm happy he did get his one ring, but now we're going to see if we can double down. Moncrief versus King. Oh, I already said I wanted to see this matchup too. That's crazy. Okay, now other side. Jean Drew, Issel. I already, I always forget Jean Drew exists in Matt first Magic. I genuinely forgot I had the face cam on, but that's probably a good thing though. I'm just chilling. And I'm still over here subsequently playing triple threat offline. Um, okay, uh, yep. So, uh, oh, I didn't even see what team was. I was about to win, but, uh, okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, actually, even more. Cas Igor Kasparov beat out Magic Johnson. Magic 47 and 10, but his 41 11 game of the playoffs was not enough to bring him to the final. He get his rematch against Dr. Do not Dr. No, Bernard King. Dr. King. RIP Martin Luther. Bernard 37 and 8. He, though, is going back to the finals yet again. This man said, I'm going, going back, back to Cali. Ca Literally, he's going to Golden State. Shout out Biggie. RIP. And I'm an idiot and just click simulate. You know what? I actually, th this completely different on this generation of the thing because now when you go to click play games so unless you're selected on the team it makes you click simulate rounds so i just simulated the round accident and guess what the hornets won anyway i swear i didn't mean to do that but in fairness they got him out of here in five games anyways nard king doubles down and i'm not surprised career high 79 points i don't even know the last time i've seen someone get obviously you know this is before kobe's time even but um i i don't even know the last time i've seen someone get close to that kobe 81 if, if not break it because i mean he's he's almost there he he might do it. Oh my God, man. This man is different. Adrian Dantley's out here glitch. So they got him number one in scoring now, I guess. Nard King had more points than Wilt in a season. Yes, yeah, 79 points. Not once, but twice. And they were only like four months apart. Playoff game points. He has all the top five. Forget everybody else. So they're almost all in the 70s. Oh my God, Bruno. I have never, ever, ever seen anybody act like this. Paul Frazier, my guy, Clyde called a day. He actually stood around for way longer. I think he retired in like 1980 in real life so yeah fairness players made way less bread back in the day so it was like you know what i mean we just gonna get out of here like that Stephen a smith meme take it easy y'all i'm out that was awful that was my i did a better, better biggie impression than Stephen a i'm going going okay okay now wait hold on for a second don't mind the uh charles barkley face scan we're not going to talk about it just yet it's actually ironically the third time sydney low literally sydney low let me see if i can
I could fix it right here. And I did it. Charles Barkley. Look at this. His uh, face scan or whatever. His cyber face. Oh, it's so show sure Sydney right there, but it'll fix in a second. Um, the draft lottery. Here we are. That is officially it for part one. We're going to need a couple of likes on this video, you know, and uh, let me know if you want to see part two. Because this guy named Michael Jordan, he's waiting to get drafted. If you're still here, let me get a BK for MVP in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to get the hell up and out of here. Uh